Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google L. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, or click down here in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie. All right, guys, Facebook daily chart, uh, 25 million on the day, $1.93 up. 37 cents up after hours all on the news of um, the China trade the G20 this is the critical most important meeting ever stuff like that um, with all that aside guys let's just take a look at the charts and see what we're seeing so on the daily time frame Facebook right in the gap fill 20 MA nice little retrace one two three four five six seven uh, eight up into a pretty good area of resistance but we did close above that little pivot here which is slightly a little more bullish if it would have closed above the 20 ma it would have helped us out a little bit more but a nice retrace off the lows nothing mattered today the indexes were up everything pretty much followed i mean there was a couple things negative but for the most part everything was rallying so into the g20 guys so into pretty good resistance so next week we got to see if we could get above the 20 ma and continue going up to the 50 ma up into this good resistance area and this double top here right around the 156 so still a lot of work to go through uh, these areas guys we'll see if we can make it next week if this thing does um, hold resistance and comes right back in and you're looking for you know 132 and they're pretty much double bottom that's going to be the most important thing if we crack through double bottom uh, we'll look at the other areas let's see on the weekly so on the weekly yeah i still like um right around 115 or so but if this thing's you know continuing lower then you're, you're probably going to crack and go a little bit lower i'd say 100 even number but right now it's holding where was my first target price 200 ma hit it pretty good bounce here guys we came back and filled the gap this is one day up though guys nice little follow through i would have liked to see more volume but still in the lower range of this chart so do we chop or do we start retracing up and try to you know go for the 20 ma a little bit stretched too so 160 i wouldn't rule it out maybe you know as the, as the days go by this will curl down you know maybe in the 155 area right into this pivot area but we'll see another big area to recapture is 148 or 150 got to get above there before we start rolling so um getting a good bounce why 200 ma good support on the uh daily chart as well let's see what this gives us into next week and the g20 news guys that's going to make or break these markets i believe so if we have good news and the china deals then we could get a rally or honestly could we get a sell the news <laughs> well i guess we'll see next week apple apple same thing guys huge trend line guys this thing has to hold if this doesn't hold apple continues lower i mean it was a little bit weak today so let's go to the daily though so daily chart apple uh 39 million on the day 97 cents uh in the red 0.54 percent uh down a little bit up after hours as well as everything else going into the g20 but this one just couldn't get going guys we got above this high it looked pretty good like we we're going to come up and fill gap fill and just nothing kind of came down came down last couple days but still chopping around unfortunately we're still in this uh lower range and the 20 ma is curling now you want the 20 ma to stay up so this thing has something to chase this thing keeps cur curling down that could possibly set this one lower so right now we're not out of the woods on apple and uh if we're not out of the woods on this one the rest of the market is going to have some troubles guys so uh just keep an eye on apple that's one of the most important stocks to watch a uh, weekly chart weekly chart great support look at that guys there's that big trend line holding it and holding the 750 retrace too coming from this high to that low so that's very important very important spe uh, spot here but down sideways this is weekly this thing's got to get going weekly chart you want to recapture 192 190 eh, i'm going to say 195 and close then maybe higher and get above the 50 ma too so not out of the woods yet lower range chopping around um you got to start scrapping up you know just scrapping this thing and doing whatever you can to get it up like they were doing today throughout siegel out there buffett special probably on the weekend i bought more apple special all that good stuff on CNBC but this thing starts to continue down first area is the 170 and then you're gonna look at this one around 161 or so and if it really starts rumbling weekly 200 MA right there 141 so we're still not you know if we get if next week we start bouncing get a little bit of follow-through then we'll go from there but this one week on a pretty good update that was interesting guys so that's something to watch on Apple let's look at Amazon Amazon uh, daily chart they're 16 bucks up a little bit up after hours 
uh, 5.7 uh, million traded, 0.99% uh, percent up on the day. So hitting the resistance just like everything else, guys. 618, 200 MA. Um, let's see here. I want to pull this one down now. Did we pierce it now? Yeah, there we go. Let's say. So we pierced it, went to the 200. We closed above it, though. We didn't get above the 200 MA, but we closed above the 618 retrace. So that's slightly bullish. All right, so let's see what it gives us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars up into pretty good resistance. Let's see what it gives us next week. Weekly chart close, a um, little bit stronger. Got it back above the 50 MA. That's the first step of the process. You want to continue going. Try to get it above this one on the uh, 20 MA. A close above would be even bull more bullish for this one. Guys, you know, buy the dip mentality. Everyone's looking to, oh my gosh, it's time to buy, time to buy. Will this lead to more um, selling next week? The G20 is the wild card. If that comes out bad, I think we'll see more selling and we'll be continuing going to the lows, guys. I still think uh, this one's going to 1355, then 1272, and then somewhere around 1163. And when it's all said and done, right here, guys, about 961 or 1000. If everything starts to fall apart, we get down in this area, guys, I will be going long with Amazon. All right, so get ready. <laughs> NFLX, uh, Netflix daily chart. Uh, this one did have 11 million on the day, down a little bit on a big rally day, a little bit down after hours too. 0.91% red on the day, so 262 um, just stalled out. But look what we went into, guys. We filled the gap. We got to the 20 MA. We uh, let's see if we take a short-term retrace. Let's see what. Uh, let's see where we're there. So now you know we're going from retraces from here to here now. Let's see if I could do this right. From this area to this area. So uh, 5 0 retrace over there. So this one can go up a little bit higher, guys. Netflix. So had a nice bounce. This has been, you know, beaten down a little bit. I think uh, 420 was the high. So maybe Elon was over here, possibly for a little while. But we're still making, you know, the high, lower high, lower high. So we're still doing that. But do we retrace, you know, back up into this area? Maybe. We're going to see, you know, we got back above this trend line. We we're in this channel, starting to break down a little bit. We got right back up. Let's look at the weekly close. I want to see what the weekly looked like on this one. Yeah, see, I knew it. Look at that. So we close right above. We get below it. Everyone thinks, oh, my gosh, it's breaking down. Holy cow. We follow the weekly right back up and a close above it. So that's an engulfing candle, but still down, still sideways. You can see the little bit of a trend this way a little bit better. And check this out, guys. A little bit of a head and shoulder as well. And it is playing out. So, gosh, if you retrace to the neckline, you can short this one again. Oh, that's interesting. Let's put this right there. Let's do this one real quick. That's going to be your target price. So, yeah, this one has more pain to go. Look at that, guys. Look where it brings us. Right to the 200 MA on the weekly. That's interesting. So, you know, a little bit of head and shoulder. It is breaking down. If this one retraces back up into here, you short it with both, not both hands, but you short it. <laughs> So yeah, watch for that one there. You know, it's still a trend line breakdown for retraces. Wow, I like that setup, guys. So keep an eye on Netflix weekly chart. Um, this could be a possible bouncer. But again, news over the weekend could drive these markets next week. They could fly. Maybe they dump. We're going to know more on Monday morning. All right, let's go to uh, Google L. Google L, weekly chart. Let's go to the daily. This one was 15 bucks up, a little bit down after hours, and uh, was it 2.9 million traded on the day, and 1.38% on green. Big resistance, guys, on the daily, 50 MA, pivot high, uh, 1100 even number. Got it, got above it a little bit, uh, 50 retrace right there, but I want to see <clears throat> where this is going to. See, I want to do a little more short term. A little more short-term retrace on this from that low to this old high. Yeah, right to the 5.0. So this one could go up a little bit higher, too. Let's look at the weekly. <clears throat> weekly, yeah, still below. Still in a weak stance. I mean, we just dribbled for weeks. You know, kind of holding up, and finally they're starting to get, you know, something going here. Still not above the 50 and the 20, a little bit weak, but we are kissing the 50 uh, percent retrace right here. And a nice push up on the weekly and a nice, you know, a uh, little bit of volume, too. That's what we we're kind of looking for on an up move. But we had a nice up move, you know, last couple of days, and then today they kind of sealed the deal. So um, let's see what happens. Let's see how it goes uh, into next week. We still have the news uh, with the G20 and the China tariffs and all that stuff, all the hype, everything they were talking about on CNBC. That's still uh, in play. Uh, we'll see if we get uh, 
uh, a pop on Monday or a drop on Monday. Or maybe we get a non-event. Who knows? So, so keep an eye on the overall markets. Everything's for the most part, is a market trade. Markets go up. These will go up. Markets go down. These tend to go down. You'll still get some differences in some stocks, maybe with news, maybe with earnings. But keep an eye out. Keep small positions in these markets. One day up 500, next day down 500. One day up 500, you want to be in big positions, getting hammered in these markets, guys. You want to be in small positions if you're getting hammered. <laughs> Look at that, though, too. That was a good trend line when it broke out, came right back in. Look look what it held. And it was chopping, chopping, chopping. Finally, the pop. Still on the weekly chart, a little bit weak, so... So keep an eye on that. That's what we're following here at StockBookie.com, guys. Again, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have questions or comments about my service for 30 bucks a month, send me an email at StockBookie at gmail.com. And I'm John C., guys, the Chief Market Strategist. And I'm the one making all the calls here on this website. So, so this is pretty much FANG with the actual addition of uh, Apple. We'll throw that in there, and uh, hopefully this will help some of you guys. Um, right now, we're not doing too much with StockBookie. Um, we have some trades out there, but what we're doing is small positions now, trying to you know catch some moves in, in the SPY and the overall indexes, and we're short some high flyers too, stuff like that. So, All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. God bless. See you on the charts.